Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach you what is Romaji, how can you use it to type the Japanese language, and why should you practice typing Japanese language. So, uh, without delay, let's get started because I want to keep this video as short as possible. So guys, uh, in, I have received a good response uh, from all of you in my previous uh, video, which was uh, how to study Japanese smartly. That is why today's video is all about uh, how to type Japanese. Now guys, whoever is studying Japanese language, you already know about katakana, hiragana and kanji. These three you are practicing very hard uh, to finish your, uh, you know, to achieve your level 1, level 2, level 5, whatever. But uh, you're not practicing Romaji. Now, every teacher in any Japanese language school will stop you from practicing Romaji. Because once you start practicing Romaji, you forget how to write the Japanese uh, uh, kanjis, right? Uh, so that's the basic point why the teachers don't want you to learn Romaji or use it. Like I received lots of comments from you guys asking me about can I get a job, how to make a job, uh, work permit, this and that. So everybody is basically uh, concerned about getting a job and getting a work permit in Japan. But uh, what are the things that you should know to get a good job in Japan? Uh, typing Japanese language is one of the skills that you have to master if you want to get a good job in Japan. So uh, that is obvious, right? Uh, the, this world is no more uh, an old world. It's a new world where technology plays a major part. And so uh, you will have to type in computers. You will have to type in your phones, iPad, mobiles. So you cannot do without typing. Like if you say I want to do a work permit but I want an office who does not type Japanese then it's very rare that you would find a, a, a company like that. Maybe a historical museum where you might have to write the kanjis in with your own hands. I'm just joking. There is no such office uh, who does not use uh, computers and iPads and mobile phones in their everyday, uh, everyday situation. So it's very difficult uh, to find a job where they do not use, uh, do, not, do not type out Japanese. So if you use common sense, uh, uh, I was stupid. When I was a student, I did not use my common sense. And many students who come from India, they do not use their common sense that they have to learn the typing because it does not come into their mind. That's why I'm here to give you the tips because I've been through all of that. It's important that you learn how to type Japanese language as soon as you come to Japan or as soon as you start um, learning the language. Like I said, uh, your teachers will be against it, but you have to practice it on your own if you want to be successful in your uh, career. Okay, so this is uh, the main reason why I am asking you or giving you these tips of uh, typing Japanese language. So what is Romaji? Romaji is the romanization of the Japanese language. So Romaji is a language which is very similar to English, which is used to type uh, or feed in data to the electronic media. It's basically very simple. You type it in English and then the output that comes out from there is the Japanese kanjis or hiragana or katakana. Of course, I will give you a demo. But this Romaji thing, I'm sure you know by now what Romaji is because you have already, uh, you must have heard it from your teachers in your Japanese language school. So if you go to Google and type Romaji, R-O-M-A-J-I chart, or you just type Romanji, R-O-M-A-N-J-I chart it will come out you download it and the first thing and I, I ask you to do is either stick it up on your uh, desk or on your wall where you have your computer and where you usually type your uh, uh, type your things in the computer sit and type so have it in and around that place where you use the computer the most okay this is one thing and then Romaji is uh, when, when you go and download the chart you will have to learn it up for example a e u a o in hiragana how is, it is, how is it written in Romanji? It is written as A is written as A, E is written as I, U is written as U, A is written as E, and O is written as O. So, uh, of course, I will give you a demo after that. If you start practicing it from your first year itself, the moment you come to Japan, by the end of second year, you are already uh, one step ahead of everybody else. One step ahead, 
uh, to get a work permit and one step ahead uh, to cro pass the job interview okay so this is very important uh, you get a grip uh, grip of the romanji first uh, before anything else like of course hiragana katakana but before getting a hold of kanji you get a hold of the romanji romanji is very important and strangely uh, you know that these japanese people uh, they teach romanji to their uh, children in elementary school but when it comes to us they want us to uh, learn up the entire language uh, writing including writing kanjis uh, within 2 years time and they don't uh, encourage romanji so i found that very strange out of my experience i'm telling you you have to learn how to type romanji this is one of the steps that you have to take uh, in order to get a good job a corporate uh, job not a blue collar job uh, in blue collar jobs you hardly write or type but in uh, uh, white collar jobs you definitely need to type a lot a lot of uh, emails in japanese which is which would be business emails so uh, if you don't start practicing from your first year you will be uh, you won't be able to get a good job or you won't get the salary that you have hoped for or uh, you won't get the respect in your company that uh, we indians normally should get get so this is one of the biggest tip uh, that I could get, give you, start practicing Romanji. Okay, so guys in every computer in Japan, uh, there is this uh, Romanji software already inbuilt. It's called MS-IME. Uh, you can see the screen. It's called MS-IME. And there are certain settings from the control panel, uh, which you can do to bring out that uh, Japanese uh, mode. Uh, Japanese typing mode and it's very easy and I heard that most of the computers have it inbuilt so it's not a Japanese keyboard you if you're thinking about a Japanese keyboard then you're thinking it wrong I'm talking about the IME software IME software is a software which is inbuilt and you ha all you have to do is set it up from your control panel so that uh, you can you are able to uh, switch over from English to Japanese uh, typing mode okay and so all these set settings are easily available in the internet. So please search with this word how to install or how to, um, you know, set up MS-IME on your computer and you will get uh, the step-by-step -step process of how to do that. Uh, so once you get that done, uh, you should start practicing uh, how the typing. Okay. If you come to Japan, all the computers uh, have this. You don't have to go to the control panel also. All these computers already have it uh, installed. And and ready for use all you have to do is there's one switch uh, that uh, changes between uh, English and uh, Romanji so you can just uh, click that and um, change it uh, that's it but if you're in India I think you have to do some settings uh, so just search the internet how to install uh, MSIME and uh, get your uh, software on your computer so that you can start practicing even in India okay okay guys so just like any other computer uh, all my uh, you see this is my keyboard and if everything is in Romanji I mean English okay and this is a conversion key this one you will have uh, one here one here there are many kinds of conversion keys over here but this one is the main conversion key if you can press this you can switch between English language and Japanese language look at the screen I will just type this okay So, if I press this once, now it's in English mode. And then, if I press this again, now see the screen, it has become Japanese language. Now, if I press R, it will come as R. If I press E, it will come as E. So, U will come as U. So, this is how I change. This is how I change uh, the keyboard. Just one press. One, one press. Now, I will write a line, a very simple li line for you, okay? Wa, ta, shi, wa, in, to, o, ji, in, n, n is represented as n, n, okay? Desu. Yeh hai romanji, watashi wa indojin desu. 
अब मैं इसको जापानीज की बोर्ड जापानीज में ट्रांसलेट कर अब मैं इसको जापानीज में स्विच ओवर कर लिया अब मैं सेम चीज सेम स्पेलिंग लिखूंगी और आप देखते जाइए कि कितनी आसानी से आपका ये सेंटेंस आ जाएगा डब्ल्यू ए देखिए ड्रॉप डाउन बॉक्स में ऑलरेडी वाताशी वा आ गया है दू, दूसरा नंबर पे है वाताशी मतलब टू गिव समबडी टू रिटर्न बैक तो ऐसे करके सारे कांजीज आ जाते हैं इससे क्या होता है आपको बहुत सारे कांजीज माई नीची देखने को मिलता है आपको पता चलता है कौन सी सेंटेंस में कौन सा कांजी यूज करना होगा ठीक है तो ऐसे टाइप करूंगी डब्ल्यू ए टी ए एस आई आ गया कांजी वाताशी का देन प्रेस एंटर एच ए होता है वा प्रेस एंटर इन आई एन एन टी ओ जे आई एन एन ऑलरेडी अब ये मैं शिफ्ट की प्रेस करूंगी इंदोजिन इंदो जापानीज में काताकाना में लिखा जाता है इंदोजिन डी ई एस यू फुल स्टॉप एंटर वाताशिवा इंदोजिन देश अब देखिए जैसे मैंने लिख लिया डब्ल्यू ए T A S I ठीक है मैं ये स्पेस की करूँगी तो आपको सारे कांजीज मिलेंगे और फिर स्पेस 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 करती जाऊँगी तो नीचे नीचे उतरता जाएगा और कांजीज आप वहाँ से सिलेक्ट कर सकते हैं या फिर आप इस की से सिलेक्ट कर सकते हैं ऊपर की की से सिलेक्ट करते हैं जब आपका कांजी सिलेक्ट हो जाता है तब आप एंटर मारेंगे तब आप एंटर मारेंगे अब मैं थोड़ा ईजी कुछ वर्ड आपको टाइप करके बताती हूँ एन आई एच ओ एन एन निहोन आ गया आपका निहोन का कांजी अब मैं निपोन लिखूंगी सेम कांजी आएगा देखना एन आई पी पी ओ एन एन निपोन भी सेम कांजी कांजी सेम है इसका योमी का था निपोन भी होता है निहोन भी होता है तो ऐसे आप प्रैक्टिस करते रहेंगे तो आपको बहुत कुछ पता चल जाएगा इन दो आई एन एन डी ओ अब आपको ये स्पेस की डालेंगे तो भी इंदो आ जाएगा या फिर आप एफ सेवन की प्रेस करेंगे तो भी इंदो आ जाएगा आई एन एन डी ओ एफ सेवन इंदो आ गया अच्छा अब मैं काता खाना टाइप करके बताती हूँ आपको ना एन ए आर ए एन एन दो एफ सेवन नारेंदोरा दा डी ए एम ओ डी ए आर यू डी ए एस यू एफ सेवन दामो दारुदास एम ओ डी ई एक्स आई एफ सेवन मोदी This is our Prime Minister's name, and everybody knows Modi, right? Narendra Damodar Das Modi. M O D A X I. Modi. S A N N. Sun. N I N I. To T O U. T O U H Y O U. To Hyo. S I T A. K U D A S A I. इसको मैं कां I will not change this कुदासा into kanji. मोदी सानी तो हिरोश ते कुदासा है. इसका मतलब क्या है? इसका मतलब है Please vote for Modi. मोदी सानी तो हिरोश ते कुदासा है. So guys, it's not that you cannot achieve difficult things. Practice makes a man perfect. So that's how you type Japanese language. I know it takes a lot of practice. That's why I'm so. Um, when I started my career, I didn't know how to type properly. But um, you know, because they never encourage you, they never tell you to ask uh, to type Japanese. And in your second year or uh, towards the end of your uh, language school, uh, you st start to learn, and then you are. Uh, your skills are not improved and you suffer in your job so uh, this is one of the skills which is very important for a good job so all the best please practice so that uh, you can get a good job 
Uh, that's all I can say. Uh, see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Take care.